as you've said, um, um, we are celebrating the life and times of Bram Fisher. Um, earlier in the insert, I mentioned that Bram Fisher attended Gray College. Now, the school has done quite a bit to honor his legacy. Um, and the former headmaster, Mr. Johann Forstedt, was there at the, t at it, well, rather, let me say, the honoring of um, Bram Fischer happened while he was still um, headmaster at Grey College and he's here with me together with another guest who's a community member just to tell us um, what exactly has Grey College done to honor Bram Fischer. Good morning Mr. Falstead and um, thank you for your time. Good morning, it's good to be here. Mr. Falstead, tell us exactly what has Grey College done um, in honor of Bram Fischer? We started the trust fund in the name of Bram Fischer for people who would otherwise not be able to attend a school like Ray College. This was launched in November 1997 by President Nelson Mandela. And through that trust fund we are now able to bring boys to Gray who would otherwise not be able to come there. That was also one of the things that Bram Fischer stood for because he wanted to do something for the poorest of the poor. So we're very happy that we can now help kids to come to Gray College. Um, before we went on air, you told me about some of the memories that, um, you know, some of the people that went to school with Bram Fischer um, told you about him. Yes, for instance, Joel Mervis, who was a wonderful editor of the Sunday Times, they were in matric together at Grey here in Bram in 1925. And he said, as a schoolboy, Bram was everybody's ideal and everybody's idol. And if you had asked the school to vote for a next Prime Minister or a Judge President of South Africa, Bram Fischer would have won in a canter. And he ended it by saying, such are the imponderables of life. Many other people, uh, he was a good sportsman, he played good sport, he was a good academic and a very good all-rounder. And many people also, uh, it, with him in school was Lawrence van der Post, the writer, and uh, Noel de Villiers, great men later in life became great South Africans and that is I think still what the Brown Fisher Trust would like to do as Brown himself said there are so many things that you can do to help people if it means you have to suffer he proved that you can do that also so thank you very much for your time it's good to be here thank you very much have a good day and now we're going to speak to Mr. Papima Arohanya who is a community member here in Mangaung. Um, he's just going to tell us about how much really people know, ordinary citizens, how much do they know about Bram Fisher? Good morning, sir, and welcome to the show. Good morning, and good morning to the uh, viewers at home. Mr. Ma'ar, can you tell us, um, do you believe that people in Mangaung in particular know who Bram Fisher is? There's a, there's a lot that's been done to honor him. We have the main building of the municipality named after him. We also have the airport named after him. But do people know this man? I think uh, government is doing its best to try and uh, make communities aware of struggle icons like Prime Fisher and the contribution that they made towards realizing the current uh, dispensation. Uh, if you look at the building uh, next to where we are, the Honorable Mayor this morning unveiled the branding of this building with the photos of Prime Fisher and uh, some of the snapshots of the history related to his contribution. And I think uh, if you look at the renaming of uh, important points like the Bram Fisher International Airport in, in the city which was previously known as Bloomfontein Airport, uh, it is a fair attempt of actually raising awareness not only to the local people but to people that are connecting to the city nationally and internationally. And uh, I also believe that there's still a room, however, to have community dialogues and further engage the community, especially around the contribution that he, he has made, you know, as a human rights lawyer, the contributions that he made, particularly to the communities that lived around Vaihuk at that time, you know, where he defended some of them against the immoral acts of apartheid. Some didn't even have money to pay him, but he sacrificed, you know, to go and defend them in the courts of law. And Bram Fischer himself, remember he was from the Africana family, he even compromised, you know, his own family because they rejected him once they realized uh, 
the ideals that he subscribed to. He even compromised his own career as a lawyer in pursuing the struggle against apartheid for us to realize the uh, democratic dispensation that we are enjoying today. Now, um, now tell us, uh, just further, um, what do you think young people can do to emulate, um, you know, Bram Fisher? The opportunities are there for the young people in this country. And it is important for them to learn and understand our history. Because once they are in that position, then they will be able to make meaningful contributions to nation building. I think if you look at the government in general, and the free state government to be specific, and the municipalities around it, they are offering uh, bazaaries to students to go and study locally in South Africa and internationally. So they must grab these opportunities with two hands. And they must also be involved in community projects, contribute and assist those, you know, that they are, those that are destitute and not, are not able to provide for themselves, either uh, 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 through community projects or through uh, uh, being educated because once they're educated they'll be able to plow back to their country so we are encouraging and appealing to them that let them know the history of this country where we are coming from so that they can be able to construct nation building and lay a firm foundation for our future as a country thank you mr marani for your time thank you very much well, there you have it from a resident of Mangaung, reminding young people to grab the opportunities that people such as Bram Fisher fought for them to have today. And with that, it's back to you in the studio.